So this is the part where you get to know a bit about me. I am 43 years old, so I have been on this journey for 43 years and have only just come to realize that mindset is everything at the age of 40. So in the last, well, actually not even 40, probably 41. So in the last two years, I've been on an amazing journey. It's been a hard journey and it's been a good journey finding myself. Um, I have learnt a lot of stuff and I've, through all of that, I've studied and I have um, spoken to different people and I listen to podcasts and I read so much stuff and I've actually studied um, weight management psychology. So looking at where it comes from a mindset standpoint. And so all of these years I've been killing myself with either pressure or self-loathing or not eating or which is very hard for me because I am an eater. Um, you know, like being on a diet after diet after diet and just never feeling good enough. Like always feeling like poo because I didn't finish that diet. I didn't get to the weight that I wanted to get to. I always gave up. I forever giving in and I just felt like a complete loser to tell you the truth. And once I sort of started on this journey and developing really good skills which have to do with mindset and cutting myself a bit of slack and cherishing who I am for who I am. I'm never going to be a size six and nor do I want to be now. Whereas before that's all I would have wanted and I wanted to be wear a bikini and I'm a mum and I have stretch marks and I have that pouchy belly from having four cesareans and you know what? That's not going away. That's who I am now. And that's because I was so lucky to bring my children into this world through the miracle of birth and my stomach expanded a lot and you know that's just what happens and I'm lucky because I actually got to have four beautiful healthy children and once I sort of started to change my mindset to those sort of things I started to realize that we are so blessed and we are so lucky and we beat ourselves up and we try to look like people in magazines which is just not obtainable and then we are so horrible to ourselves and then once I started to change that and start to say you know what cut yourself some slack girl this is life and you can't keep up this kind of life it's not working for you now so I started to change and I started to go you know what maybe if I don't get a work in today work out in today I'm not gonna beat myself up about it maybe I need rest listen to your body um, and then when I ate a crappy meal I'd say okay I ate a crappy meal get back on the horse tomorrow instead of saying well, that's it I quit I can't do this again I failed no I'm a human that's what we do we're allowed to enjoy foods we're allowed to fall down sometimes and we're allowed to learn from those experiences and now I listen to my body and I go you know what that really doesn't sit well with me. Do I really want to do that? Like especially alcohol now. I used to drink alcohol, go out on weekends, have lots of fun with my friends. Whoa, the thing just dropped. Maybe I didn't have friends, I don't know friends. But it used to, I'm not even gonna stop the video, that's just how I roll. Um, I used to, you know, go out and enjoy myself and that. But now, it absolutely wreaks havoc with my body. So I actually get quite anxious if I have a social function where I have to drink. And I think, okay, well, I'm really gonna have to pace myself. I'm really gonna have to, you know, drink water in between only because I'm listening to my body and my body just doesn't like it anymore. So anyway, before this video gets way too long, that is just 
part of my journey and I will share more with you along the way because this is what we're in it we're in it together we're in this together we're journeying along and I'm going to help you as much as I can with what I know and you know what I'm learning and growing as we go so I'll be able to help you with what I've learned and you'll be able to help me with what you're learning about yourself and about how you deal with things so I am so happy that you are here and I am so excited and I can't wait to get on the phone and have a chat with you and we can talk more. Bye.